Once you've decided on a major, you actually need to apply to it and get started in it. Now, majors are of a wide variety. Some are open, meaning after a consultation with an advisor, you can just start in that major. Others are competitive, meaning you have to apply to get into that major. What we did is we sat down and we talked to an advisor from an open major, uh, Earth and Space Sciences, and an advisor from a competitive major, Business, about how to apply to a major. So someone's decided they're going to be an Earth and Sciences major. How do they begin that process? Well, they'll come in and talk to me. We'll set up an appointment. They can call me. They can email me. They can drop in during walk-in hours. We'll sit down and we'll have a dialogue. We'll talk about what the major is, what it isn't. Um, and sometimes this isn't the right fit for them. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we'll send them to atmospheric sciences or physics or applied math. Mm -hmm. um, we want to get them in the right major and we want to mm -hmm. make sure that this is the right fit for them mm -hmm. and sometimes it's not with us sometimes it's with our buddies over <laughs> in oceanography yeah. which is great and coming and talking to an advisor really helps because we have those connections and we can pick up the phone and call them and mm -hmm. you know make sure that they're getting set up and are headed down the right path i think one of the things that students are worried about is not knowing what the major is looking for but what are you looking for when you're looking at new students we like students who are engaged and actively seeking out um, a, a degree and want to want to be involved with their education. Nobody wants a, a bystander student yep. who's just going to sit in classes and kind of skate by. Mm -hmm. We want students who are looking for research and getting involved and meeting new people and making mm -hmm. those connections. Mm -hmm. um, it's not just what GPA you have or yep. how many credits you're taking or what year you are. Mm -hmm. It's um, who are you as a person? Why are you here? Why do you want to learn? And, and we can help with that. Great. Why do we have competitive majors? Well, the, the university uh, has a, a limited resource, and all a competitive major means is that there are more students applying than there are spaces available. Mm -hmm. And so these, these sort of three different brands of majors that we have, whether they're open or minimum requirement or competitive, it's really just a, a resource issue mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. if we could grow majors and build buildings and uh, instantaneously and mm -hmm. hire faculty to teach the classes instantaneously, we could easily accommodate everybody who applied. Mm -hmm. That's not how the institution yeah. works though and so as a result we're, we're really limited in the number of students that we can, can adequately educate and as a result that means we have to constrain how many students we take on a, yeah. on a quarterly basis. Now, regrettably, not everyone gets in. So what happens when students don't get in? There really isn't a, a good physician <laughs> or CEO or lawyer who doesn't have plan B in mind mm -hmm. already. That, that in many ways, your first lesson in business is how well of a plan B can you come up with? Mm -hmm. uh, or, or how robust of a plan B can you come up with? So it's really important for you to be developing mm -hmm. that that second and third option mm -hmm. from the start. Yeah. Now, persistence is part of this equation as well. Mm -hmm. And so we will frequently try and talk to a student, seek the advisor's advice mm -hmm. about, should I reapply? Is it worthwhile to go ahead and reapply for this major? What, uh, what components of my, my application were weak? Mm -hmm. How can I improve those in the time that I have to do mm -hmm. that? Um, you know, t the more the advisor gets to know you and can pull some of those experiences out of you and mm -hmm. frame them for you in a way that might resonate with an admissions committee, I think that's where the real value of an advising relationship, yeah. a long-term advising relationship really helps. That, that I know those students that I've had a two or three year relationship with where I, they've come in and told me about their experiences, they've, they've inevitably come back and I've helped them frame those experiences in a much more robust way that I know is going to resonate with an admissions committee. Great. Always meet with the department's undergraduate advisor. They have the most up-to-date information about that major and how to apply to it. Um, majors that were competitive 10 years ago may now be open and vice versa. You should start by talking to the departmental advisor. They're the people to talk to about how to apply to a major.